my dear friends, my name is Antonia Romaka. Welcome to Series English. But do not forget that on this channel you also study Russian. Anyway, today is Monday, so it's the English day. Today we're going to focus on idioms, English idioms connected with clothes. Well, these idioms will contain some words connected with clothes, but their meaning will have nothing to do with this topic. So let's take a look. The first idiom which I want to touch upon today is to have something up your sleeve. So to have something up your sleeve means to have secret ideas or plans. So when you think about something, when you plan something, but nobody around you knows about it. So it's a secret. It's your secret plan. It's your secret idea or your ambition. Why is Paul so sure the house will open? He doesn't have the votes. He's got something up his sleeve. What it is, I don't know. So now an example. It seems to me that sometimes when politicians talk to each other, they laugh up their sleeves. <laughs> so here's another modification of this idiom. You can laugh up your sleeve. <laughs> or you can cry up your sleeve, I guess. <laughs> so, when you hide your emotions, so the meaning is a little bit different. This time you do not hide your plans or ideas, you hide your emotions. But it's also possible to use this idiom like this. Now let's move on to the second idiom, which is to keep something under your hat. It's a lip gloss. Well, to keep something under your hat means to try to hide something, to keep something a secret, as simple as that. These two idioms, to have something up your sleeve and to keep something under your hat, seem to be more or less the same, but actually they are not. Because in the first case you are talking about your plans and ideas which should be beneficial for you. So you think about yourself, dear me, and you want to help yourself. And if this secret comes out, usually you are going to be happy about it. But in the second idiom, if the secret comes out, you will not be happy about it. It will not do you any good. It will be bad. So that's why you keep it under your hat. You don't want to tell about it to anybody and you want to keep it a secret. <laughs> All right, what else? Well, uh, there's acting classes, stage combat classes, tap classes, which we're still keeping under our hats. <laughs> So, an example, do you remember Marshall from How I Met Your Mother? So, Marshall liked dancing, but he wanted to keep it under his hat. Because he thought that it was not very manly, he was play dancing, and of course he wanted to keep it under his hat, because he thought that his friends are going to make fun of him. But we are ready to move on to the third idiom. Actually, well, there are a lot of variants here, a lot of modifications. For example, you can say, the gloves are off. The gloves are coming off. The gloves come off. Or to take the gloves off. So what does it mean, the gloves? Well, the meaning is quite simple. All these modifications presuppose that something is going to be done in an uncompromising and ruthless way. So, when you have your gloves on, you are like a gentleman or a lady and you behave in a very polite way. You are not going to do anybody any harm, but when something happens and you take your gloves off, you turn it into a monster, you are going to do something really, really bad, you are ready to do anything, you are ruthless, you are angry, uncompromising. So, this is an explanation which might help you to remember the meaning of this phrase a little bit better. Anyway, once again, 
the gloves come off, it means that you become angry and ruthless, uncompromising. Yeah, well, if they're happy, I guess I'm happy. Oh, come on, Nate. When have you ever been happy? Wow, the gloves are off today, aren't they? <laughs> I am feeling frisky. So, an example. When somebody undermines me or tries to humiliate me, the gloves come off. Like I can throw my glove into your face and or punch you. Of course, I'm joking. As for me, the gloves come off very, very seldom. I can't even remember such an event. Anyway, it doesn't matter. As for the last idiom for today, this is this should be ranged 18 plus. So people under 18 should stop the video right now and turn it off and turn your computer off and run away. Of course, I'm joking, but this expression is for adults only. Seriously. This expression is very rude, extremely colloquial. And to tell you the truth, when I saw, when I heard this phrase myself for the first time, I had no idea what it meant. So I guess you have already uh, taken a look on the screen and you know what expression I'm talking about. A button on a fur coat. So when I heard it for the first time, no idea. I had no idea and I was confused. I couldn't understand it. I couldn't find explanations and I asked a couple of my uh, American friends and they explained to me. So a button on a fur coat is a very small penis which resembles a button on a fur coat. So try to imagine a button on a fur coat and you'll understand what I mean. Anyway, I don't want you to use this phrase. I hope that you will never ever see it or hear it because it is very humiliating and it is rude and I just wanted you to know, to be ready if somewhere you heard this phrase like me and you won't be confused, you won't be surprised and you will have some understanding here. I so, can't look away. It's like forest has grown up uh, all around one magic mushroom. It's like a button on a fur coat. Well, look on the bright side, Charlie. It may be short, but it's thin. So you think I should? So, take a look at an example. I won't read it. So, and I just want to say that that's it. And, uh, well, today we studied some idioms connected with clothes. And I hope that you liked this video and you found it quite useful. If you did, please press the button like it and share it in different places, social networks, and I'll see you next time. Hope to see you soon. Happy English and Russian practice. Bye bye. I'm not gonna punch you. I love you guys. It was a joke.